idea to tell World Cons that they have to wait a whole year if they miss the deadline to give their financial report because we really want to see the financial report even if it comes in late and has to be independently copied. Uh, therefore, I would like to suggest either a ruling of the chair or a resolution of the business meeting that since it's in the discretion of the chair to, uh, to uh, accept late reports in business that it be strongly recommended that in the case of uh, Worldcon financial reports they be accepted as late as the end of the business meeting. That has certainly been our usual practice. Um, Kevin, do you wish to speak to the matter? Kevin Stanley. Mr. Chairman, uh, it's late. And what sounds like a simple matter has unexpected consequences. And I actually have spoken to other members, including the parliamentarian, prior to this. We actually have had this situation in place for a while now, and it hasn't caused the society to collapse. I do believe that it is something worth considering and that we should work it out. But I don't think that we can get a, quite a set of wording that will please everyone here today. I therefore move that this matter be referred to the Nitpicking and Flyspecking Committee and that the committee be directed to consult with the sponsors of the motion to obtain wording to, ref to report to next year's business meeting. Second. Thank you. And that, of course, was a speech in favor of my uh, motion. Thank you. Does anybody wish to speak against the motion to refer? Anyone wish to amend the motion to refer to, so to come back Monday? <laughs> um, hearing none, we shall proceed to vote on the question of referral. Those in favor of referring D8 to the Nitpicking and Flyspecking Committee as augmented, please show. Thank you. Those against referral, please show. None. Excellent. Thank you. That concludes the official business of the uh, Worldcon. Deb, I believe you would like to say something. My name is Deb Geisler, and I would move that we adjourn sine die in honor of Milt Stevens and Julian May. Uh, would the, Mr. Chairman, would the member consent to the motion being allowed? Uh, Come up and say what you want to do. We're friends here. There are announcements that need to, Mr. Chairman, uh, I hate to speak against the motion. There are announcements that need to be made before we adjourn, and I ah, would ask right. the member to uh, withdraw their motion temporarily. Certainly. Thank yep. you. You have one as well, right? Yes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, the first announcement that I think is irrelevant here is that uh, at 12.30 in this spot, uh, is the Worldcon chairs photo session. And it is possible that there are some Worldcon chairs who have not gotten the word despite our best attempts to get programming to schedule them all for it. So if you know some of those Worldcon chairs, you might want to go tell them. Okay. Uh, related to that is it, I would really appreciate, as one of the people trying to put, uh, organize this, the help of some of you who might be interested in this to, to stay after the meeting and help move the forward rows of chairs to rearrange this. Okay, I mean the lecterns, which we do. Facilities told us we could. All right, the all right, fine. But we do need to do some rearranging here. So, yes, the facilities, the head of facilities told us they could do it. I'll tell you about, I'll tell you about it later. Okay, but anyway, it is going to happen after, and we are going to do that photo session, so please remember that. Thank you. Uh, Terry first, then Todd. My name is Terry Neal, and I have a resolution I would like to introduce at this time. Um, I would like to introduce a resolution that the chair of this business meeting and the secretary communicate with the Laguin estate and um, ascend to them our e extreme esteem and regard for Ms. Laguin uh, with a little bit of perhaps explanation or uh, information about what happened with the proposal and withdrawal of the re-renaming the Laguin Lodestar Award. Um, and that this be an official communication from the World Science Fiction Society to the Liquin Estate. 
I have some suggested wording, which, but I would, I, I would not want to uh, bind them to that. I think that they are capable of coming up with wording on our behalf. Second. Moved and seconded. Anybody wish to speak for or against this motion? I'd like to speak for it. Um, I don't know how many of you are aware of the proposal to change the Lodestar Young Adult Award to the Ursula Le Guin Lodestar Young Adult Award, uh, or what happened with that. Um, it is my concern that it has caused the Le Guin estate to be hurt by actions associated with the World Science Fiction Society, and I would like to do what we can to ameliorate that and uh, send to them how much we love and adored her and miss her and did not want to cause them any harm at all with what happened amongst ourselves. Kate, please. Mr. Chairman, while I am deeply in sympathy with the feelings expressed by Ms. Neal, and I wish we could do that, once we have adjourned CNADA, we no longer have a business meeting chairperson or secretary unless they are the people appointed for next year. And this meeting cannot, to my understanding, bind that meeting. I believe this resolution is actually out of order. Good question. Don, do you have an opinion? Make it a request rather than an order. I think it's you know, an informal request. I think that, that we can ask people yeah. to do something. I mean, we can decide the society should send a, uh, a we can decide the society should send a letter, and it's up to the, then, you know, it's up to the chair to ma execute that. And you can right. yourself yep. to appoint somebody. I don't know. And consult with Chris to find out what, Terry. Uh, ah, at the back. Lou, can someone run a mic back to Lou? My name is still Lou Walkoff. I spoke to Chris after I learned that the motion had had been withdrawn, and it's my understanding he has already communicated with the Le Guin family on this point. Thank you, Terry. What were you? I would like to respond to that, that to my knowledge, Chris has no authority from the World Science Fiction Society to communicate with the Le Guin estate on our behalf at all. And I think that this is an official communication. I'm certainly willing to entertain any amendment to my resolution that would facilitate this happening. But I don't think that Chris has authority from the World Science Fiction Society to speak on our behalf. That would be Ben. Similar to Kate's belief, we cannot bind anybody outside the control of this business meeting. We cannot request WISFUS to do anything except through the constitutional amendment process. Sorry, we cannot require WISFIS to do anything outside of the constitutional amendment process, and therefore WISFIS can't send such a note. This business meeting does have the authority to bind Tim or other members of the podium staff. Kevin Stanley. Mr. Chairman, the chair has not ruled on the original point of order. <laughs> Stop Where shouting. Were we? The one from Kate about Kate's whether or not the resolution is in order. Oh. Because we can't. Because the uh, business meeting terms expire. Hmm. Or should I let you be bound by it? <laughs> Could I? I am uncertain. That Could I speak? Uh, uh, Don, yes, advice, please. Well, um, uh, I believe that uh, there have been uh, motions before the business meeting that have passed before to express thanks uh, and things like that. And there have also been motions to condemn things, which usually got uh, 
you know, ruled out of order, usually had objection to consideration sustained. So certainly the, uh, the, business, the business 